What got me into teaching is my parents were both teachers. And so growing up, you know, you were used to a household where people are teaching. So this is just what I've always wanted to do. I don't know if it was ever a conscious decision to be a teacher, but it was never not a decision to be a teacher. Ready? Okay. Uh -huh. I came to Charlotte 28 years ago and I had not left this building. Okay. And when I came, the goal was you teach the child. You have a curriculum, you have standards and goals, things you have to teach to, but you're here to teach the kids. And lately the new catchword has been you have to just establish a relationship. It's always been about the relationship. You're not teaching just reading or just math or just science or social studies. You're teaching them art, you're teaching them music, even if I'm not that teacher. But additionally, I'm teaching them how to get along with one another. I'm teaching them how to succeed. And I'm gonna teach them how to fail in a safe environment. If I don't get it right today, it's okay. What can we do to fix it? The other thing I've learned over the years is everything that goes around comes around, but when it comes back, it comes back better. So whatever skill, program, curriculum, idea you've used in the past, we do not throw that away. My husband wishes I would. The garage is full, as is the room we are sitting in. But it comes back. It just comes back better. My students have taught me to laugh. My students have taught me to love. My students have taught me they need structure and consistency, and I need to be structured and consistent. Rules are rules. Yes, you can slide by, but at the end of the day, you can only push me so far. You go over that line, and we're gonna have to talk about it. Don't think of teaching as just something I can do for now or something that fits in a schedule. You need to think of this as your lifelong passion.